Morning, this is Mr. William, West Virginia. It's the 20th day of December 2018. Um, and I just want to talk with you honestly. I mean, yesterday I had a day. I mean, it was just from the moment I woke up, it was a day. It was one of those days. And and uh, somehow I found myself thinking about praying, but kind of going back to praying in the spirit because I just couldn't stop. Because from the moment I got up, there was stuff that had to be done. Things, places I had to go, bills that had to be paid, people I had to see. Um, and today is my granddaughter's birthday. Um, and uh, there's things going on again today. And I'm just... I wake up knowing God's going to get me through the day, but still feel overwhelmed. And I'm not even into the Christmas spirit like everybody else. I haven't been shopping or doing any of that stuff. Um, I talked to a buddy last night that said we're just really under such an incredible assault as the people of God. Um, at the end of my day, after visiting someone at the hospital, my car broke down. And it broke down in the parking lot in such a way where I had to actually stand in, in, a, in the parking space so that my mechanic friend could come and park in front of me. So I was standing out in the cold for a while, had already been standing in the cold for two hours, ringing uh, Salvation Army bell. Um, never did get to my jacuzzi yesterday. And uh, we eventually got the car started, got back home, wanted to go soak, but ended up falling asleep in the chair and lazy boy and just, just had just... It was just not a good day, folks. And I just want to encourage you that, you know, you're going to have those days. I could find my, I found myself at one point standing in that parking lot and just kind of talking to God, just praising him and thanking him for life. Because at this point in time, there are people that have died. There are people that are dying. There are people that are addicted to drugs. There are people that are incarcerated. There are people that are headed to, right now, this moment, to some accident that's going to kill them or maybe maim them for the rest of their lives. There are people that are finding out that their mates are going to leave. There are people that are finding out that their children are going to go off to college and they're heartbroken because they've, they're a single parent and they and it was the only person in the house with them. Uh, there are people that don't have anything to eat, people that don't have any presents for Christmas, people that are wondering where their family is. There are people starving to death. So what do I got to complain about? A day not going the way I want it to go. I still have life. And, you know, after ringing the Salvation Army bell for the last couple of weeks, you know, you, you begin to realize that people are still really good. People still are willing to give their last little couple of coins to help other people. Um, one of the greatest moments I had ringing the bell this year was a little boy came up and got some change from his mom, put it into the little bucket, and he looked at me and said, could I ring the bell? And I said, you sure can, young man. And I gave him the bell and he rang it. And it just almost made me tear up. Had a long talk with my dad yesterday. We talked about some of the things I'm going through and what I was doing that day. And he was just, I guess, really kind of proud that I was ringing the Salvation Army bell, which, I mean, it's something our church does every year, and we love doing it. Not a big deal, uh, just a small thing we we could, we do, but we end up having so much fun doing it. I mean, I, I can't even explain it, but it's so much fun standing out there, ringing a bell, talking to people, greeting to people, and um, just loving on people and praying for people. I mean, I find myself at times praying for people. You can look on their faces and see there's trouble or there's or they need prayer. And you find ways to in inject God into their lives by just praying for them. I've got situations that the only thing that could fix them is prayer. And uh, so that's what I've been doing when I'm not like in myself, in my flesh, in my frustration. Um, there's just so much going on. And I know there's so much going on for some of you too. And so let's do this, okay? Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, whatever some of my people that are watching are going through that's difficult, that's hard, that they can't handle, I pray you would help them to cast those cares on you because you care for them and just alleviate some of the stress, some of the load, and let them feel the freedom of your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I love you, and, and I, I don't say that, I don't say that just to, to say bye a lot of you I know and I do love, 
but I just want you to know that no matter how much I love you or how little I love you, God loves you way, way more. And he wants to see you press through this situation, press through the, 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 the affairs of life and find his kingdom because he does really love you. All right. Hey, have a great day. I'm going to try and have a great day with the Lord's help. Amen. Shalom.